I don't give a damn because you a bug a wolf. Like Jen really, mm, Jen really thought she ate with that one. And it's like, ma'am, if we have to read the dictionary to understand your read, did it really eat? <laughs> Hello, you beautiful chit chatters, and welcome back to another episode of Housewives and Chit Chat, the show. Now, before we get started, please the thumbs up button, the subscribe, do all the things that you know all them YouTubers told you you should do because like that helps me. So let's get into that. You could have been anywhere on the internet, but you're here chit-chatting with us and that is greatly appreciated. Let's chit-chat about last night's episode of Real Housewives of New Jersey. And now I'm a beer drinker, but chugging a Guinness would kick my butt. Just like these allergies is kicking my butt out. I am real nasally all up in here. Happy spring. If you talk about it, you already know it's up. <laughs> anyway, this episode started off with the girls right where they left off in the pub. And we are chugging beers. We are doing all of the things that we love to see the housewives do on a trip. We are finding random people at the bar to have beer chugging contests with. And of course, Jackie, as always, won. That's kind of her shtick, right? That's what she's supposed to do. And then you had Jennifer Aiden, who wanted in on the fun. And I don't care what you say, Miss Ma'am, chugging her beer like this is and will forever be iconic she wins is that white claw in my cup maybe maybe not did they pay me to say that absolutely not hi white claw how are you doing now after they got done chugging the beer and taking the shots everybody felt so good that we started throwing water on each other and what i want to say is if you were ever around me my parts of jersey we're we're never having we are never having that good of a time keep your water in your cup or in your esophagus i don't know put your water wherever you need to put your water just don't put it on me amen amen we leave fessler falls we head home we're supposed to turn up but everybody falls asleep so we turn down very much the next morning of course miss marge really thought she was giving it to the girls and wore an endorsed shirt you know to bring back home the joke and the endorse and the car like it was such a flop i don't even need to do an eater flop but i'll do it over on housewives and chit chat on tiktok you should follow me over there we'll do that later on today however the endorsed shirt moment is quickly overshadowed by the rat conversation happening at the breakfast table without danielle okay danielle is the person who said that rachel was a rat and danielle is not at the table now jennifer aiden tried to do her thing and stick up for her by saying, well, like, you know, if you rat on somebody, that's the slang that we're going to use to say that such and such was ratting, thus they are a rat. If the shoe fits, wear it. If it's too tight, stop ratting. Oh, Fessler gets in the sprinter. And I don't know what it is about the sprinter on the housewives, but they make these girls, they turn them into strippers. They turn them into just like fountains of truth. And Fessler, again, on the Sprinter, gave us the rundown on her relationship. So it seems as though Fessler's hus husband cheated. Then she did her revenge cheating. Then they separated. She got with the man that she was cheating on her husband with. And then she started cheating on him for the husband again. So then they got back together. And then Dolores broke down what her and Frank were going through. And I, I thought that was really a great vulnerable conversation when we talk about putting these housewives back into the space of remembering that they're human beings, remembering that they have stories outside of endorsed shirts and, and book wolfs. And why did she think that booger wolfs was going to be a real eat? I call Martha Josephs and she's calling the dictionary. Wolf absolutely going to kill her. Listen, shout out to all the women who decide to say all of the toxics of the world, if you will. But baby, you cheat on me and it's giving very much liar by profile. Okay, Hello, okay? go ahead and call your lawyer because we're getting ready to have a fight. <laughs> like, what, what, you, what you mean? How, how could you get more better than this? Like, I don't understand. And now you want to come back. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Get, get somebody else to do it. At this point, surviving the Judices versus the Gorgas needs to be its own show. Number one, 
it's not meshing with Housewives of New Jersey. Like they almost feel like two separate shows happening at the same time. And it's weird for me. So I know it's weird on the Sprinter. With that in mind, to me, in the way that my family runs things is once it comes to them babies, we not having a conversation. If someone says, oh, do your kids and her kids get along? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because whatever you believe, run with that. I'm gonna tell you yes, and then I'm gonna handle this family business with my family. So the fact that Teresa, and y'all know I'm a tree hugger, but the fact that Teresa even parted her lips to say Antonia's name was a little bit much for me. Now, with that being said, if I were the mother of Milan and my kid's cousin, whom I'm very, whom she's very close with, didn't come to her sweet 16, I would get that. I would understand that hurt. I would want other people in that Teresa and Melissa conversation to get my side, right? If I am Antonia's mother, I understand. If I could split my kid in half and have two of her, then, you know, one of them would have been there, but I can't do that. She had other things to do. We also have a life doesn't mean that we don't love you. I understand both sides of those. And once you put a mom in that, you're never going to get to the, okay, you were right, you were wrong. So again, that takes us back to why are we even talking about the kitties? Why are we talking about the kitties? And then that just left room for Joe to be like, they want us to be the bad guys and not come to the wedding. So we're not going to come to the wedding because we're going to be that. Like, uh, what time do they go home? Like, respectfully and with so much love because nah, they're not interested in resolve. It's, ju it's just not at this big age. If they were truly tired of what was happening, if they truly wanted a different narrative, they would just create it. And they ain't. So... Time for new cast members. On my FYP is the name of the segment. But baby, what is on my FYP is La Toxic. Yet again, blaming everybody but herself for her bad season. Let's also remember as we talk about this, they can't edit that which isn't given to them to produce. I'm pretty sure that's how like the producer code of ethics goes don't quote me because I'm not one but like I've heard people say it and I think it goes like that okay anyway Latasic is saying that this is Mona Scott's fault and she was basically ambushed and she was sold a show and that's not what was given now she says that she was sold a show wherein the audience would see what exactly goes into producing a tour. The music of it all, the, the creative direction of it all, all of that. Now, I told you before, that's what I wanted to see. And I'm kind of sad that we didn't get to that until like episodes five and six. However, that is not the reason that Latoxic looks bad. Latoxic and Rocky, the shenanigans as a whole, they look bad because they look bad. Like <laughs> they look bad because they keep talking. And I know we had this conversation on my TikTok, Housewives Intro Chat, um, where we talked about the nine point list that Tammy Roman gave Latoxic to just like getting out of this. But Kev on stage on his podcast made a really great point. And I think I think this one is it. Latoxic is not going to stop giving us interviews because Latoxic isn't hit to this error of the internet. Candy knows how to play this internet game. Tiny knows how to play this internet game. The Scott sisters, they don't really know. You know what I mean? They're they're new to the Bravo commentating and people digging up your history and deep dives. And so it's like, I feel like her and Rocky are handling us, the audience, like you would have handled the audience in 1998 and in 1996. And this ain't that. Mm-hmm. And that ain't this. So stop lying to us. Thank you for coming to an episode of On My FYB. <laughs> Guys, that's all that I have to give you today <laughs> on Housewives and Chit Chat, the show. You could have been anywhere on the internet, but you were here chit-chatting with us. And that was greatly appreciated. Please leave us a comment down below. Want to know what you think about New Jersey. Want to know what you think about LaToxic and her media parades. Talk to me, baby. I promise I'm talking back. Until next time, I'm El Marisaki, and this has been Housewives and Chit Chat, the show.